All right, let's get straight into it and memorize the rest of the Olympic cities. The last city we memorized was Los Angeles, and the next city to host the Olympics after that was Seoul. Let's use the sole of a shoe to remember this one. The angel climbs off the cow and starts walking, but the sole has started to come off her shoe, flopping around. She looks at it as it hangs down, barely attached to the shoe. When you picture that sole hanging down, you'll remember the South Korean city, Seoul. After a sole was Barcelona. This is a challenging one, but let's go with bar C Lona. The sole climbs off the shoe and walks into a bar. The bar is on the edge of the sea and there's one man sitting at the bar by himself having a drink. He's a complete loner. A loner at a bar by the sea. He's a bar C loner. Visualize that image and you'll recall Barcelona. The next Olympic host city was Atlanta, which sounds like Atlantan. The lone man stands up in surprise because over the sea he sees an Atlantan floating on the water, glowing brightly. On each side of the lantern is an at symbol. It's an at lantern, which will make you remember the next city, Atlanta. Sydney in Australia was after Atlanta, and Sydney sounds like sit knee. The at lantern comes ashore, grows arms and legs, and sits on the knee of some giant legs. Picture that lantern as it sits on the knee. You'll think of sit knee, and that will make you remember Sydney, the 24th host city of the Olympics. The 25th Olympiad returned to the traditional home of the Games, Athens, so we'll use our eight hens again. The giant legs get up and begin juggling eight hens with the giant feet like they were balls. Focus on those eight hens and that will link in your mind to Athens, the host city of the 25th Olympic Games. After Athens, the Olympics went to the Chinese city, Beijing. Beijing sounds a little like Bajing. One of the chickens runs away from the giant legs and begins barging its way through a crowd of people, bumping into some and sending them reeling backwards. Picture this scene and remember the hen is barging. When you remember the word barging, you'll remember the city Beijing. London hosted the Olympics for a third time after Beijing, so we're back to our Lung Dong. As the hen is barging through the crowd, it runs straight into another Lung Dong wearing his black academic gown and hat with lungs on the outside of his chest. The hen crashes into the lung don and goes flying backwards. Visualize the lung don and that will link once again in your mind to London. Rio de Janeiro is the next Olympic city after London. This time we'll get creative and go with Rear D Jam Hero. Out of the sky, a superhero jar of jam swoops down grabs the Don by his gown and pulls him up into the air. The jar of jam is wearing a cape and has a large capital letter D on its rear end. It's a rear D jam hero. Create a clear mental image of that rear D jam hero and you'll always remember the Olympic city after London was Rio de Janeiro. Okay, it's time for our final recap. Here we go. The sole on the shoe of the angel started falling off and flapping around, reminding you of Seoul. The sole walked into a bar by the sea with a loner drinking by himself, Barcelona. Floating on the sea was an Atlantan, glowing brightly and reminding you of Atlanta. The Atlantan grew arms and legs and decided to sit on a knee, sit knee, Sydney. The giant legs stood up and started juggling eight hens, making you recall Athens. One of the hens got tired of that and began barging through a crowd. Barging sounds like Beijing. The hen crashes into a lung don, reminding you for the third time of London. A rear D jam hero swoops down and grabs the don, making you recall Rio de Janeiro. Wow, you've just memorized all the Olympic cities. Well done. Please tell me in the comments below if you can recall the names of all the cities right now. If you thought these videos were pretty cool, please give them a thumbs up and share them around so other people will know they're worth watching too. Hey guys, it's Kyle Buchanan, the Whiteboard Animation Memory Coach. Did you like this video? If you did, you can do two things right now to continue your journey. First, you can subscribe right here to my channel, which I hope you will so I can keep sending you regular videos to get you so pumped up about how easily you can memorize and learn and change your life as a student. 
Second, head over to the Memorize Academy website and sign up for my free video training to learn how you can use best practice visual memorization techniques to crush your exams. You can sign up to receive our updates and free training, new podcasts and everything else we don't do on this channel here. If you'd like to do that, go ahead and click one of the buttons you see right now. I look forward to seeing you on the next video and always remember, you have an absolutely amazing memory.